What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Drill. So, in today's video, I'm actually showing y'all my single back wide trips mini scheme. And honestly, it's really fun to run. So, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is going getting dry there. So, before I do get to the video, I do want to say um, I hope y'all are having a great New Year's. I hope y'all didn't do anything too crazy last night. And I hope everybody's all good and well. Um, one thing I do want to say about this scheme, it's in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook, personally, that I'm using. But this playbook, this formation can be found in a whole lot of playbooks. But the Las Vegas Raiders is the best run pass option playbook out of this. So other playbooks have great run great run plays. Other playbooks have great passing plays, but not great run plays. So that's why I am in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Now let's talk about personnel. So for personnel, you want to have your fast receiver or DK Metcalf is. That's the way I like to run it. Now, um, as far as plays, I'm actually gonna start off by showing you this 0-1 trap. And I believe it's one of the best 0-1 traps in the game. So I'm actually gonna run it against random plays just to kind of show you just how good it is. Now, one thing I like to do is double is a ID this person right here, and it's going to snap the ball. So you can see, I mean, just look at that. I mean, that's literally about 15 yards right there. Now, it's not gonna be 15 yards every time. Realistically, you're gonna get about eight yards of carry, honestly. So as long as you ID, not the cornerback, uh, as long as you ID this dude right here, you'll be golden. So uh, you just want to read your block so that way. Um, you just gotta read it. So right there, I seen all the clutter. I seen it cluttered inside, so I just took it and ran outside. So I'm gonna ID him again, so you can kind of see. Now there are some defenses, of course, that will stop it, and I'm gonna show you gameplay with it as well. So uh, just be just be mindful. So this is a play you can spam if they're gonna stay in the same defense, and you see you're consistently getting yards. Uh, by the way, so boom right there, you can see it can get stopped. There are some defenses that will give you quick sheds, quick shed wins. There's nothing you can do about it, but um, you're gonna force your opponent to play a defense they may not be comfortable with. So uh, right here, I'm gonna run it one more time. For you just so you can kind of see it then i'm gonna show you some gameplay as well um and keep in mind computer practice mode they play crazy so uh but check out this gameplay though Now, next play I do want to talk about is going to be this PA zone shot. So, you can really bomb pretty much every single coverage with this. I'm not going to say every single coverage, but you can bomb majority of coverage. And I'll show you what all coverages you can bomb. So, let's start off with cover three because, yes, you can come bomb cover three. And then let's take our uh, cornerback, motion him over. Not cornerback. Let's take uh, receiver, motion him over. Now, you want to take circle, put him on a comeback. And then from here... You want to double team this in, I like doing, and then you just want to kind of drift in the pocket. But I'm going to simulate that by spying, just because in practice mode, they're going to split those blocks like crazy, and I don't have time to deal with this. So, uh, go ahead and snap the ball, roll out. You want to wait for him to clear that, clear that cornerback, and then you'll be able to pass lead it just like that, right over his head for a one-play touchdown, potentially. So, um, I didn't say potentially, but it's going to be there every single time. If they're not deep passing that cornerback, you're going to have that every single time. So, I'm going to run it uh, one more time, and I'm going to show you pressed. Um, let's take the safety and put them in the middle. Most people put their safeties in the middle if they're going to play cover three. Um, and if they're not, there's other things you can do to exploit them, not putting their safety right there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into that in this video, but I'll be showing you something you can do. Um, people want to not align their safety properly. So right here, as you can see, all you want to do is double team that in, but I'm going to simulate that by spying them. And then you're going to be able to see right here, 9 times out of 10, you're going to have this open as long as uh, he crosses his face. As you see right there, he does cross his face. But Russell Wilson selling the pass. So you see right there, it says out of range. Um, you want to have somebody who can get the ball out there, uh, I would say. I don't know what Russell Wilson's throw power is, but I don't know why it's saying out of range. Um, like I said, I'm going to press. I am going to use put him right here in the middle. I'm going to do it just like this. Now, like I said, I don't know why Russell Wilson's uh, not getting his throw out there. But if you run this in game, um, you're going to be able to get this throw out there, I promise. Uh, out of range don't affect that that much in the game. As you can see right there, just exactly what I was talking about. So it's going to just get wide open just like that, whether they're pressing or not. Um, you just need to make sure you have a quarterback that can get it out there. So I don't know what the out of range thing is about. That's why I did throw a pick with that out of range. That's why the cornerback was blowing in the beginning of the video, I should mention. So um, next coverage I want to talk about going to be how to bomb cover two because yes you can bomb cover two um as long as they're not putting a middle third so if they're not doing this right here then you're going to be able to bomb this cover two and if they are doing that then i have some ways to exploit that because they're just literally leaving the middle of the field open for um other route contests we're going to talk about so anyways what you want to do you want to take uh oh i didn't mean to snap that 
I'm just gonna throw something. Oh, I actually caught it. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to snap the ball though. So uh, in the setup versus cover two, uh, it's gonna be different than the one for cover three, as you can already kind of tell. So I am gonna press because most people are pressing their cover two. I'm gonna spy these two linemen right here, and you'll see why in a second. So you just wanna block your running back. I like blocking them twice. Um, it helps them pass block a little better, but you wanna take X, put them on a block and release cross. Now from here, you wanna take circle and then put him on a zig route. And then you wanna motion the zig route across. So your reads are gonna be simple. So you wanna read circle if it's open first. Then you want to read R1, and then you're going to read square for the one play touchdowns. You can tell. Uh, you see how the safety just, uh, I don't know why Russell Wilson, you see how it says out of range. I'm try, I was trying to pass lead that all the way to the right, but um, I am going to hop and replay real quick and just show you what the read progressions even was on that play. And I'll show you that it can, it will get open consistently if they are in cover two. So uh, right here, zig route, right here is going to be your uh, first read. Now, not time to they're not zone dropping. If they're not zone dropping, this won't be open. So if they are zone dropping, so that means they're going to make him stay right here, then, of course, this is going to be wide open. So you can just take that if you don't want to just show your hand and show that you have a cover two beater. Now, your second read, of course, could be this right here, which if you could pass lead this up, sometimes you can get this in this area, and then um, you'll be able to have a completion. Now, the reason I like this delay cross, I didn't release it, I forgot to, but he's going to come, and he's going to run like a drag route right here. So he's going to be right in your face. It's going to be an easy little dump down. So if they try to send a spy, because obviously they're not going to have two spies. So if they send a spy at you, and you release this delay fade, or delay cross, it's going to come in this section, and then you'll be able to have like an easy little dump off instead of trying to just force the ball somewhere so you won't get like a throw out of sack. So that's why I like it. I'll show you right here. Oh, we've been utilizing that. I just forgot to release it. And don't be like me and forget to release it because they are actually really helpful in the game. And nobody ever runs them, um, but they're surprisingly good if you if you know how to utilize them. So I'm going to block the running back twice, take X, put him on a delay cross, then take circle, put him on a um, put him on a zig route, and then go in motion. You want to double team that guy right there. And then um, just, like I said, drift out the pocket. And I'm going to release X this time if he goes. And just so I can show you that it does get open. Well, actually, you know what? Actually, don't. Okay, for some reason, um, they, they did that, but if that happens a game, just don't run a delay uh, cross. Um, I'll run one more time just to show you, but I think that actually affected, I don't know why that would, but I think that affected the deep zone. Um, I don't think so. I think just practice mode, doing practice mode things. I'm going to try running it one more time for you just to see, and this will, this will pretty much confirm it um, for me, at least go and snap the ball right here, because uh, normally it's never a problem. You see, I'm going to release him right here, or I tried to. Okay, so just just in, just don't don't run the crosser. I guess just throw it out of bounds because for some reason Madden just being, I don't know if it's just my game or something. But uh, I was running this in game and it did, it didn't matter in game. So y'all let me know in game it didn't matter whether I had a delay cross. Um, I don't know if it's affecting the safeties or not. But anyway, y'all see it does get open. But I do want to go ahead and move on so I'm not sitting over here all day because I do have some gameplay I need to show y'all on this as well. So just I'm gonna show you man coverage now. Man coverage is gonna be a little different. So if you're seeing man coverage, um. Simply, all I like to do, take circle, put them on a slant, take X, put them on a flat route. So you're going to create pretty much, um, it, this, this play is going to shred man coverage. So all you want to do is motion, that motion slant is going to get open every single time. Now, because of R1's route, you can have that just like that. And that's against uh, J. Alexander. So that's against, obviously, a top-tier cornerback. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop a replay real quick and then show you um, why I like this. And I'm going to show you exactly um, how this will counter the double purple meta that's still here for some reason <laughs> so right here you can see the slant's gonna be open all day and this route as you know all y'all know this route so it's gonna do a great job against man coverage and that's like i said you've seen that read and then also if they aren't having any if they don't have safeties back here this can actually get open a lot of times for a one play touchdown if they don't have any safeties back there and as long as you get like a good uh win animation so i am going to show you that here right now so let's say they go man coverage right and let's say they actually keep the press animations um Let's say they don't call over the top. And I'll show you some gameplay here as well, right after this play. So all I want to do, like I said, take X, put him on a flat, take circle, put him on a slant, and then motion him across. So you're going to have a one, two read. So it's circle open. Okay, no, circle's not open. Is R1 open? No, R1's not open. So let me just try to chunk it deep just like that. Can we get a step? Yes, we can. So that's kind of like my reprogression with this play. Now, next play that I am going to talk about is going to be a level switch. So, you want to save those beaters just for, you know, you don't want to just keep running those beaters, those beaters, keep trying to run it. So, you actually want to run some real route combos. So that's what we're about to talk about right now. 
So we got cover three on the field right here. So I am going to press this because most people are pressing their cover three. Let's bring our safety more inside some, um, just like that. Now, all you want to do, you just want to take R1, put them on a hitch, and then you want to just motion them across. So that's all you want to do. Uh, and right here, you're going to see just pretty much what's going to be open. So you want to snap it about right there. So if the hitch isn't open, then you're going to have X open. And then I'm going to walk and replay real quick and just kind of show you the read progressions. Then I'm going to talk about some other covered shells because I don't want to spend all day on just showing you cover three reads. Now, your first read is always going to be this hitch route. But nine times ten, if the user is on this side, so let's say this is the user, right? Then you want to look right here. So a lot of times they aren't going to stay right there. This is a flat defender, so they're going to pass that off. Especially if they're zone dropping. Now, if they're zone dropping, this is a flat defender. So if they're setting their zone drops at like five or fifteen or something like that, they're gonna be like immediately over here. So you're gonna have this immediately open nine times out of ten if they're zone dropping, which they will with this style of offense we're gonna play. So even if they don't, you can low ball this right here. As you can tell, that's a lot of room to low ball that, or you can have this right here. So you, if you see, you kind of create a triangle right here. You see that? So we have somebody in this space. We have somebody in this space. And then we're going to have somebody in this space. So we're attacking literally every area of the field. And that's what's going to kill zones is when we attack spots of the field. And that's true even in real life football. That's how you kill zone. You just attack spots on the field. So um, next coverage I'm going to show you is going to be cover two. And then I'm not going to touch with so y'all can see. Some, sometimes these safeties roll down randomly. Um, but you just want to take R1, put them on a uh, hitch, and then you just motion them across. So of course when I say something about the safety roll down, they don't. <laughs> but uh, snap the ball right here. So like I said, is R1 open? No. Okay, is uh, circle open? Yes, circle is open. So that's the way you should be able to think. And then also coming late, you also have X. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. And I'm actually gonna throw the uh, the longest progression read. So I am gonna um no no it's fine, not it's fine. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the longest progression read. It's gonna be the X route because X will get open, but you really want to look for circle. So I like looking at either R1 or circle. So all you want to do is step up in the pocket, buy some time. You can tell you're going to have that little gap right there. So that's kind of what I was trying to explain to you. So real quick, I'm going to show you man coverage, though. And then um, after that, I'm going to show you some gameplay with this play. Now, man coverage, if you have a good matchup, you can have that out route. But if they're playing, like, off man, then I'll throw that out route. But if they're playing press man, um, I'll just run it just like this. And now if they are playing press man, I may just take him and put him on a slant. If you wanted to run this same, same style of concept. So I'll take him, put him on a slant. So now at this point, I'll just be looking for either that slant or I'll be looking at X. But mainly I'll look at X because a lot of times you're going to be able to beat man with that little long in route. Now, the last uh, the last play I'm going to show you is going to be this Jet 6 sword. So with this play, all I like to do is, is simply take my tight end and motion them across. Now, yes, it's that simple, and the reason why is because you're gonna have a good spacing concept now. So you're either gonna look for the drag, or you're gonna look for square, or you're gonna look for triangle late. So right here, we do have cover three, as you can tell. And then, like I said, all you wanna do is look for the drag, to square, to triangle. So you see, square's always gonna get open. So if they aren't zone dropping, that's always gonna be there. So the reason why is because the uh, triangle route, it's gonna be able to pull down every single, I can say every single, but it's gonna pull down most hook curl zones, and if they don't, then triangle's gonna be open. So you're either looking at triangle or square, as you can see. And then, um, like I said, sometimes you can have this open. Sometimes you see how we can pass lead that inside. Now that's a little scary, but you can have that. I'll show you that real quick, and then we're gonna kind of move on to some other coverages because you can already tell that square was gonna get wide open. So right, you just wanna take a motion from across, and then I am gonna show you, like I said, that R1 can get open. Um, you see, you can pass lead that, and then just uh, possession catch that ball. So if they're playing cover three, then they can have that. So if they're gonna try to use that, then you're gonna make their life real tough because if they try to take like. Let's say they wanted to say, okay, well, I'm just going to take, I'm going to use it, this guy, and I'm going to use it at myself, you know? So now, let's say we snap the ball, right? So then, boom, look at square. So you're going to be able to throw that right there. So you're just going to have to make them kind of guess which way to go. Or you can also have triangle a lot of times, too, that you could probably play maker. So that's why I said this play is just really dangerous. So I do want to take, show you cover two real quick. And then the reason I'm just showing you these uh, cover three, cover two, man, because that's pretty much all you're going to see with this uh, single back wide trips. Um, you're going to get a variation of this, especially with this good run play. You're going to force them to not be able to come out in like a three down line and set to be able to stop the run and everything like that. So, like I said, we are we do have cover two. So, cover two is going to be the same thing. So, is X open? Yes, I can throw X. Go ahead and get up the field. So, like I said, you can always throw X just because I have it doesn't mean it's open. I just want you to see the read progression. So, right here, I'm going to kind of let the play play out. And then I'm going to go and replay and then show you some gameplay after that. Actually, I'm going to show you, man. I'm going to show you, man. I'm going to show you man coverage, and I'm going to show you the gameplay. So, right, you want to motion them across. Like I said, this is cover two. 
Um, Roman controller going to snap the ball. So like I said, we know we have X. Look at triangle is going to be wide open too as well. So like I said, if you don't have square, you're going to have triangle, and that play is true, and that's pretty much always going to be true because of how deep they're attacking. So right here, as you can tell, uh, going to snap the ball. So like I said, drag routes open. Now if they are playing um, cover two, nine times ten, you're going to have this open right here. And if they're trying to use one of these linebackers, then you're going to have this dig route. Like I said, they're, they're screwed either way because if they try to use one of these linebackers and drop this guy into the middle. So if they drop this guy in the middle, guess what? He's way back there, right? So this is what I was telling you earlier. So if they drop the middle, that middle is going to be open. So now they have, what, two people to cover two people, but they're so spaced out that they can't just cover that one by itself. That makes sense. So real quick, I do want to show you man coverage. And after that, I'm going to get into some gameplay. So right here, let's go cover two, man. Go ahead and press. Now, this square route is going to absolutely toast man coverage. That's going to be your money read. And then also, you can you can have um, you can have X. Now, if you know they're playing man coverage, one thing I suggest is maybe put him on a slant because you want to try to move that user out the middle. That would be my only um, my only adjustment. So you see right there, square is going to get open. And we're going to have that slant route that gets open as well. I will run it one more time, and I'm kind of spy the lineman just so, just so you can kind of see, um, see it get open. So we're going to call cover two man. I'm actually going to call over the top. Like I said, most people will call over the top. And then um, just take a motion across and then put them on a slant. So now we have a slant and we have a drag. And then you, uh, I like leaving the running back on the route just because sometimes he'll max protect. But right there, boom, as you can tell, he's just he's just pretty much going to toast them every time, especially if they call over the top coverage. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed my little single back wide trips uh, scheme. And like I said, just be sure to check the time steps. I am gonna have the playbook that I'm using in there. So like I said, there is a lot of playbooks that has single back wide trips, but this is the only one that has the run plays that I like with the pass plays that I just showed you. So I am in a Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Um, anyways, I hope y'all have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real and I'm out.